Hello everyone, this is The Pretend Critic and thank you for watching my channel. So I just watched The Upside uh, starring Kevin Hart and Brian Cranston. Was there any upside for the movie? Before I go ahead and tell you what I thought about the movie, please hit that subscribe button to support my channel. So what was the movie about and how do I usually um, review the movies. First, let me tell you what the categories are. Categories for me is acting, the script, directing, and then the X factor. X factor usually for me is, did it make me feel that I liked the movie? Uh, was it funny for me? Was it boring for me? And sometimes even the audience participation uh, makes that movie experience better or even worse. So what was the movie about, The Upside? The movie is based on a true story. Uh, Kevin Hart uh, plays in this movie a down and out uh, single father or divorcee or separated from the family. Um, he just got out of jail and now is trying to go ahead and look for a new job. Brian Cranston is a billionaire. Um, is paralyzed from the neck down so the only thing that he can move is his uh, head to be mobilized so he needs someone to help him out and they call it a life auxiliary I've, I'm not really clear about what the terms are for basically a caregiver 24-7 uh, gets paid and Kevin Hart just goes there because he's in parole get a signature but for some reason uh, Brian Cranston's uh, <clears throat> character uh, Philip likes him or has ulterior motives but likes him and wants to hire him eventually they get hired uh, they do hire Kevin Hart the assistant here by the way is Nicole Kitman and they have a, a good relation she, she has a good relationship with uh, Brian Cranston's uh, Brian Cranston's character. He's the, she's the executive, so Nicole Pitt Kidman plays that. So along through the movies, their relationship blossom. Uh, he helps him, uh, Philip, or Brian Cranston's uh, character, helps him along to be a better man. And Kevin Hart basically opens uh, Brian Cranston's heart because uh, in the movie, there's also going to be shown what the kind of tragedies, two tragedies that um, his character endured. In terms of acting, it was actually good. Uh, Brian Cranston was Brian Cranston. He, he bought his A-game. And what made it also better was Kevin Hart did not play, you know, the very physical comedy. He dialed it down. So that was amazing that he did that because when both of them were together, uh, Brian Cranston and Kevin Hart, uh, those character, the interaction between each other, it was very, very genuine. And that's what carried the movie for me uh, when they entered the act each other. Uh, it is a remake of, of originally a French film. Uh, I think it was Insight. Not really, I'm really sure. I haven't watched it. But there, it was more of dramatic because I guess Kevin Hart is more of a comedic actor. They went towards the comedic set. I don't know if that put this film down and compared to uh, the original or even the true story, but I did see that the... The filmmakers really knew what Kevin Hart's strengths are, and that's what you want for a director. And the spotlight or the highlight of the acting was actually Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman, with his, her small starring role or role, she showed more depth than any other actress in that role. I mean, she did a small she showed more depth than even people that have more lines or more screen time whatever screen time she had she 
delivered and she um, made make it worthwhile. So for acting, I would say out of five, I would say four, four out of five. Uh, the script, there was a lot of dialogues that was there. Dialogue was spot on. And I think in terms of how people would react, I would say it, it's natural, especially again, with both Kevin Hart and Brian Cranston playing with each other, the script was there. But the plot, there was not a lot of things that I would say that I might believe that this would happen. I'm not saying that it might not happen because it is based on a true story, but the film or anything with the script or the plot did not show me enough, in my opinion, to see how Brian Cranston would allow somebody that was not experienced enough to even be a life auxiliary or a caretaker. It did not show most of them, probably because it was too short or Kevin Hart does not have the dramatic uh, chops to deliver those kind of shit. I know Brian Cranston did have, but they did not do anything with that script. So with the script, I would say a three out of five. Uh, with directing, I would say they knew or the director did know the limitation of Kevin Hart. And Kevin Hart uh, is a comedic. I'm not sure if he has any dramatic you know, roles that would say it, but they did know they played to his strength, and I commend him for that. But there are some choppy editing uh, that, you know, it's like, whoa, where is it? And you couldn't tell some of the transition and some of the things. So with directing, because it's basically just how the camera, I would say three out of five. Uh, for the X Factor, uh, when I was watching it, it was actually surprisingly on the Thursday. It was actually full. People were actually watching it. Um, I think it's because of what happened to the Oscars and how Kevin Hart was treated. Um, let it be fair uh, unfairly I'm not going to take that position here because it is a review and to be honest with you that made the film better because I thought I would just be probably with four or five people that just wanted to watch a movie and for lack of it this audience were engaged in the story they laugh when it's supposed to laugh they uh, reacted to things that you should react to. In that experience alone with the upside made this movie experience better for me. It made me really enjoy it. But it is based on a true story and it did have enough heart for me to even care. Uh, to care about Brian Cranston and to care about Kevin Hart. And even because I told you Nicole Kidman, even care about Nicole Kidman, I would say four out of five for this one so that's four out of five for acting three out of five for uh the script three out of five for directing and then four out of five so that's 14 14 out of 20 so around 70 percent 70 percent uh for the movie it is good enough to watch i'm not sure if you need to watch it in the movie theater but it is a enjoyable uh, movie to watch. Uh, probably stream it or matinee. It is a touching story, like I said, because knowing that it is a true story, it does have enough of those moments to care about all of those three characters. So the upside again is a 70 for me, and it is a remake. I might watch the other one. And I will also have leave a link down below of why I think this is actually going to be the number one movie in the weekend. And it might even be number two uh, next weekend uh, after with a glass. I'll, I'll leave a link and see what my thoughts are why this is going to be number one. But anyway, I hope you love the or like the video. Leave a comment down below and again hit that subscribe button to support my channel and please share and that's a wrap.